Hi, my name's Sue and this is Sue Marie P. Easter's around the corner, so today I thought I'd share with you my no-bake Easter egg slice topped with candied Easter eggs on top. So the version I'm doing is from my no-bake lemon slice, which is super popular, and I'll pop a link up there if you want to check that out as well. Behind me, I'm just um, melting down some butter, 90 grams, and I'll put the cup measurements above. It's bubbling away, so it's almost done. If you don't have, if you've got a microwave, you can use that. Just do it for like 30 seconds apps. And we've got a packet of digestives. If you're somewhere where you can't get digestives, you can use graham crackers for the US or Mari biscuits in Australia. So I'm going to take out about four of them because I like to chop up some by hand just so I've got a few chunky bits inside and the rest I'm going to put in my food processor. That's all done. These ones I'm going to just break them by hand because I really like having a few chunky bits in there and not having everything super ground. Just my way of doing it. You can grind them all up if you like. No bake slices are so fun, much fun. Um, even if you're not that confident in baking, there's something that you can just melt butter and pour it over and you make a slice by popping it in the fridge for a few hours. And voila, you've got something homemade. Into that, I'm gonna add all these. And I've got a quarter of a cup of coconut, so I'm gonna pop that in there. We're gonna pour over the butter, but I need to let that just cool down for a few minutes. So I'm just gonna move that to one side and I'm going to chop up some of the little Easter eggs. I'm gonna chop them into pieces and then I need to um, pop more on the top. But don't throw them on the floor, Sue. <laughs> Trust me, it tastes great with the chopped up candy bits inside. Before I put them in, I'm going to pour this melted butter in. And I've got half a tin of condensed milk in this jar, so I'm going to pour that in. I think that's 175 grams. Okay, now we're going to pop the candy bits in. And if you didn't have candy, Easter eggs, you can put other Easter eggs in, you can put chops of um, chunks in there, you can put white chop chips, just be creative. And if you see any extremely large bits of the biscuit, like I just did, saw, you can um, just break it up a little bit more. Once everything's coated, now we're good to press this into our tin. So grab a square, or rectangle sliced in, grease it and line it with paper. Then we pop all the mix in. Next step, we need to chill this in our fridge for about 30 minutes till it's nice and set, and then we pour the chocolate topping on top. So we're back to do the topping. So what I like to do is, I like to do a combination of dark chocolate, and white chocolate so it becomes kind of like this milky chocolate but not too milky so I've got 150 grams of dark chocolate in the bowl and I'm going to put 50 grams of white chocolate chips but feel free to do it with just a whole block of milk chocolate or just all dark chocolate or all white chocolate so in this saucepan here I've got a little bit of water I'm just going to pop the bowl on top and then we just need to gently melt that until it's all melted and then we pour it onto our slice and we add some mini eggs to the top. So that'll take probably about 15 minutes. So it's starting to melt. One thing I forgot to mention was I like to add in two teaspoons of oil. This is just sunflower oil, but if you've got coconut oil, you can use that. That just helps create a really glossy texture on the top of the chocolate. So now I'm going to pour this chocolate that I've melted on top of my slice. My slice is nice and set. It's been in my fridge for over half an hour. Because we've added the oil, it's going to like just smooth on really silky and smooth. 
I just had an idea. If you didn't want to fuss with real chocolate and you want to do a chocolate version of an icing, jump over to the slice, the lemon slice, and instead of putting lemon in it, you could put a tablespoon of cocoa powder. Now we just jiggle the chocolate all over. I wasn't sure what I was trying to say then. Just jiggle it, just jiggle it. Okay, and now we need to add the Easter eggs. And I just randomly put them on last time um, I made it, but this time I'm going to position them. So I've got 16. So then when I slice it into the little squares, I have an even amount, or I'll try. And the first packet I opened, and they're mainly white and pink and purple and no yellow. So quality control wasn't very good on them. So now, just for a little extra sprinkle, I'm going to add this little pink pearl sugar, which is called raspberry pearl sugar, because I just think it looks really pretty. But if you can't get that, you can just put hundreds and thousands or coloured sprinkles. Now that rests in the fridge for at least two hours and it's best overnight. So I'm not going to chop this one up. I'm going to come back and do a taste test with this one. I'm just showing you close up. Okay, so while that's chilling, let's do a taste test of this one. So when I made this a few days ago, I used a gluten-free packet of biscuits, just testing them out. And they were okay, but I think I prefer digestives. It's been on the bench for a little while now. I like it just out of the fridge because it's really crispy. Not crispy, it's kind of like nice and cold and hard. So it's just quite, got, gone quite soft. But you've got, hmm. I just picked up an outside edge one and I just got a chunk of the Easter egg chopped up in my mouth. So that was really yummy. There's a whole Easter egg here. Hmm. So a word of warning, super easy to make, but it is, it is quite sweet. So it's not for anyone on a sugar-free, wheat-free, chocolate-free diet, dairy-free. This is one just a treat for Easter. So hope you've enjoyed my no-bake Easter slice. I've got chocolate all over my fingers now. Thanks for watching. I'll pop a few other ideas for Easter up above. Don't forget to pop a comment below. I love getting your comments. I just like your feedback and like interacting with everyone online. And if you're new here today, consider subscribing. All you need is to have a Google account, hit the bell, and then you get notified when I've got a new video. I'm doing two videos a week. I'll stop talking. I'll let you go, and I'll see you next time. Bye.